This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Wednesday, the 5th of September. This is the morning edition. I'm James Spann. Could Isaac morph into Nadine? Oh, that's a question we'll talk about. Uh, now, let's get in there and look at the uh, uh, Skycam images early this morning as we start the day. These were captured at the uh, insane hour of 5 a.m. Who should be awake at that hour after staying up late? That's the Birmingham Skycam looking north from the Daniel Building. It's cloudy. It's muggy, but it's dry. No flooding issues to deal with this morning. That's the Tuscaloosa Sky Cam. Same deal. You can see the low clouds kind of hanging over the city. And down south, goodness, that's a Selma Sky Cam. And what a deal yesterday. 9.64 inches. A flash flood emergency for the city of Selma for a while. But hopefully things have uh, kind of gotten back to normal with receding water down there this morning. All right, there's the deal. Uh, the westerlies are up north. Had a rough ride in Chicago last night. Big batch of storms came through there. And around here, the system, formerly known as Isaac, has been drifting south. And the big rains early this morning are now moving offshore. Uh, that's the radar capture at 506. Tremendous lightning still on the Mississippi Gulf Coast uh, uh, down around uh, Biloxi. Uh, big rains uh, just offshore, off uh, Gulf Shores, Orange Beach, Pensacola, Navarre Beach, and Destin. And let's watch that. You know, the the reason for that, it's a little bit, a little bit of what used to be Isaac. And by golly, that stuff's going to get down there in the Gulf. And the question is, can it redevelop into a new system and get a new name and, and be another botherment? We'll see. There's the pressure analysis off the ruck. And you really can't pick out much. Just a little weak uh, trough down there. Um, but we'll be watching pressures and the buoys very carefully in coming days. Here's the uh, infrared satellite shot, and you can see the uh, colder cloud tops are with that cluster over the Mississippi coast where all the lightning was showing up. All right, severe weather today up north, a risk from near St. Louis up to uh, uh, Michigan, includes Chicago and Indianapolis, Grand Rapids and Detroit. Tomorrow, slight risk over the heartland, and on day three, which is Friday, uh, we've got a risk from near Lubbock to Cincinnati. And that's along a cold front that will certainly impact Alabama as the weekend kicks off on Saturday. Uh, this is the rain for the next five days, valid through the weekend, valid through Sunday evening at 7 o'clock. The bigger numbers on the Gulf Coast, 6 inches just south of uh, Destin. And again, we'll be watching for tropical mischief there. Up this way, the amounts are much lighter. This is only showing about uh, three-quarters of an inch. And we could see more than that. And again, it all depends on what happens down there. One way or the other, Saturday should be fairly wet and Sunday should be fairly dry. All right, Tropics, the circle guys at NHC are showing just a 10% chance of the ghost of Isaac becoming Nadine over the next 48 hours. I wouldn't be shocked if that percentage goes up a little bit in coming uh, outlooks. And out in the uh, deeper tropics, we have a couple of tropical storms, Leslie and Michael, and those are high-latitude systems, meaning there's certainly not going to be Gulf storms. Uh, there's a look at the track on Leslie. That thing will be very, very close to Bermuda uh, by early Sunday morning. And again, uh, everybody on that island, they need to be aware of that and batten down the hatches or get off, one of the two. And then it starts to recurve uh, early next week. And again, it might try and skirt Nova Scotia next week, but should not affect the United States. Michael just kind of hangs around. Hardly any motion. They do bring it up to a hurricane uh, by the weekend. Well, east of Bermuda. And again, out there, more than likely, that'll be picked up and won't bother anybody. Uh, and there's the GFS ensembles on Michael, and that'll make your head blow up looking at that. All right, let's check the... Uh, uh, the GFS, this is the OZ run, valid at 1 o'clock today at 500 millibars. You can see nice ventilation down there over the, the Gulf, a 588 upper high. So, uh, you know, there's no wind shear to harm development. The westerlies are up north. And again, around here today, there might be a shower or storm this afternoon. Goodness, the dew points are up in the mid-70s. I mean, uh, uh, yeah, well, it could rain on us, but the shower should be fairly widely spaced. And it's going to be a little hotter, the high today, around 90. Both the GFS, the NAM showing 89. I think that's probably right. Same thing tomorrow. Uh, high close to 90. Any showers, pretty isolated. And there's a look at Friday. And, of course, we're watching the GFS in the Gulf, and it shows just a little weak trough down there, nothing organized. And, again, that's the GFS Friday at 1. But let's look at the RPM, a mesoscale model. 
Ooh. You know, got a 1,000 millibar low. Could that be Tropical Storm Nadine? And then that, well, you know, one good question is, why doesn't it keep the name Isaac if this is the ghost of Isaac? Well, it's only just a little bit of Isaac. I mean, this thing was sliced and diced in the westerlies up there, and this is a small part of it. And traditionally, the Hurricane Center will rename a system if it's gone through that big transformation like that. Uh, so, again, you know, we'll see. But I, I think they would call this Nadine. And we got a cold front north of us. And, and the question is, does a tropical storm blow up down there? And does it move north-northeast and really wet us down on Saturday? Or uh, does it does it not a factor at all? And that remains to be seen. It could go either way. Let's go to Saturday. And there's the trough, a big trough developing over the east. And down below that, a well-defined cold front slicing in here. And even if there's no tropical system involved, it should be a fairly wet day. It uh, won't rain on us all day long, but it should rain a good bit. And if you got something outdoors, plan on rain. Uh, severe weather, I don't think so. I'd say it's unlikely. And uh, temperatures should be uh, start to back down because of the clouds and rain. And then Sunday. Now, this run is not as deep with the upper trough as recent runs. But uh, And there's the surface chart, and this shows no kind of cold core, no showers. That would just be a, a nice day. Uh, sunny, breezy, low humidity. Uh, now, the GFS is showing 82, but I don't think we get out of the 70s because look at the NAM. All right, this is Saturday morning and that cold air mass coming down the pike. This is valid uh, 7 a.m. Saturday, central time. Do you see 30s? I do. Hey, I see some folks that might be around freezing Saturday morning up in Minnesota and uh, Nebraska, I mean, goodness, come on now. With, with an air mass like that, I don't think we get out of the 70s on Sunday. Sunday could be a beautiful day. And again, we're going to mention a small chance of a shower just in case there was a cold core up or low nearby. Uh, let's go to Monday of next week, and that's going to be a great day. I think we start the day in the 50s. We'll struggle to get out of the 70s. Bright sunshine, low humidity, just gorgeous. And uh, again, up you see the tropical system up there, that's uh, Leslie that's doing the recurve thing. There's Tuesday. Uh, just beautiful in a week from today. So, uh, you know, finally we get a break from the humidity and the showers and all that uh, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. The weather looks just absolutely great. We'll check the end of the forecast, September 20th. Well, that's not cool, is it? That's just kind of toasty. Got uh, ridging going on down here. And if that's right, that would just be uh, warm and dry with no cool air at all. But we all know this is in the land of voodoo, and that will probably look different on the next run. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog next video here by 3.30 or so today. And if you can, watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless.